to submit your PNG in class 3 you need to click on the link for class 3 in activities and then locate the project which is here and then you need to go inside the project by clicking on it here you'll notice that it's brought you inside gives you a little introduction here as to what you need to do for that project there were some student samples and it says here evaluations to complete two peer evaluations and self evaluate your own submission so I've got my PNG saved out here on the desktop you can see it right there and then I need to submit this for each one of the questions in order to activate it for grading so the first question is about the layout and typography is the page orientation in landscape format is the type centered at the top of the page does the type look like it is aerial bold at a size of 18 point well I could check to see what that looks like well first off my page is the wrong orientation so let me just go to document setup edit artboards and I'm just going to change the orientation the width up here should be 11 inches and the height of my page should be eight and a half inches I n gives you inches I change the page size to confirm that I just click on the selection tool and it's done choose the type tool set the type and set the font for Arial Bold Arial instead of regular we set it to bold and make the size 18 point okay Arial Bold 18 point so at least I get a sense of what the size of that should be there it is more or less that size centered at the top of the page don't beat yourself up or your peers up too much if it's not centered because some people's compositions might be such that putting it in the center would actually make it unreadable as imagine if they've got a very large black um, you know triangle that goes all the way to the top sticking that there wouldn't make much sense you'd want to put it in a place where it made sense so that it was readable but more or less you know you're you're looking to see if they're being thoughtful about where it is they're positioning the type now I need to submit for question one so I need to go into question one I click on it and it asks for a response well the response is going to be me inserting a picture see right here where it says insert picture and I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna browse my computer to find the picture it's out on my desktop so I select desktop here there's my file I open that up now I can alter the size of this it might be that it's a little bit too big and you don't want people having to scroll around and look at your work like that they can get a sense of what is going on there with it being a little bit smaller than it is so if we go to the appearance panel just up here we can drop this thing down in size so I can set this instead of um, 792 I'm going to take the largest value 
and make it into 500. It will automatically, if I click here, notice that it automatically scaled that because this is selected, constrain proportions. So I just found the largest dimension, converted that to 500, and then it scaled down the smaller dimension accordingly. So that's all I've done. I'm going to insert that graphic now. And there's the graphic. So I can see it all in one window like that. Then I click Next. <coughs> it's now asking question two, design principles. And this is what you're being evaluated on. Does the submission have a title that indicates the design principle or principles? You can use more than one used, and does the composition actually exhibit those design principles? So we've got to put something in there. Again, we insert the image, browse the computer, locate that same image, hit appearance, find the largest dimension, convert it to 500, and then click insert. There it is. We click next and there's a number of questions that we're going to be using and we'll walk through this next class on how to do the evaluations. So here's the next thing. Does the composition exhibit all of the object and appearance requirements that were given in the assignment? Um, so in here <coughs> And we go to Browse Computer, locate the file under Appearance, change the largest dimension to 500, and Insert. Submit. I've now submitted that same file three times for three different questions that we're going to analyze. And there it is. There has been, it should show status completed. Status completed. Okay? Once that's all status completed, then you click OK. And that's your work now submitted and ready to go for next week when we will work on doing an evaluation.